This is the second venue, of course, of the exhibition of Gerd Richter's abstract paintings here in Munich. First was in Cologne in the Museum Ludwig, then this historical building here, which was built by the Nazis in the 30s. I think the history is well known. I can say that it was quite a challenge for Richter and me to, to bring the same exhibition in these completely different spaces. So the idea of the show was based very much upon the idea of the series. It's a kind of process in these paintings that he is more dealing with, with the formal aspects of his abstract work. He is thinking more about the painting as a whole. Red, blue and green is one example of a series which is so to say a variation of one theme, of one issue, of one motive, which is done in different formal versions. So it's a kind of variation of the formal process. But on the other hand, it's also a uh, rare example of five paintings in which Richter tried to finish a painting in a very spontaneous and very fast way of producing an image. So this is a very uh, special series of works, which on the other hand is also important because it's in a, in a political building of the Parliament of, of Berlin and so it's usually hidden from the broad public. Richter had some mixed feelings to see them again. I think it was the first time since 15 years that he saw the paintings. But on, then he was very surprised uh, that he enjoyed and liked the paintings very much. Actually, if I may say that, this is one of the favorite parts of this exhibition. Uh, we have here the cage paintings spread over three spaces. And these spaces are connected by this gallery. And we have the Sindbad paintings as a kind of bracket to connect and on the same time to finish, so to say, the exhibition. There are enamel paint behind glass, which is a very, very traditional way of painting. Each of these 100 little uh, paintings is a smaller part of a much bigger one. The element of chance is, of course, very enforced in these paintings. And so uh, he brought together always two of them that he has put in a certain relation. And what you see here is a wonderful, extremely experimental on the one hand, and I should also say what I like about it is they are very playful. We talked about the idea of the series, which is represented very broadly in this exhibition of Richter's abstract paintings. Here with Haggadah, we have one of the single, of the really unique paintings in the exhibition. That means Haggadah is not a part of a series of works, but it's a really, in the best sense, a unique painting. Why is Richter doing that? And the simple answer to it is, that he, of course, makes experiences, collects information, and so on, and so on. And then it happens, of course, that he has an inspiration, also by a piece of music or whatever, that flows into one painting. Usually you expect here to having a very big representative painting, and we decided to do exactly the opposite, as we did in most of the spaces of the ex exhibition. That means we introduced a relatively 
small sized paintings in relation to the major works, to the larger formats, which of course dominate the exhibition, we try to introduce kind of a kind of blind spot or a disturbing point to give the visitor a chance to step back from the big works in the exhibition and build up a more intimate relation to a smaller size painting.